Hey guys, this is Carl from CarlSapsy.com here with another tutorial. If you have any questions about my videos or anything in general, uh, head to my website and you can message me via my contact me page. Or if you want to just leave me a message down below in the comment section and like my videos and subscribe to me if you want to. So what we're going to be starting today is my new course, which is going to be the basics or introduction to Java programming or object-oriented programming. Um, with this particular uh, style of programming, there are many times of types of compilers that you can use, or IDEs that you can use, which is your integrated development environment. I am going to be using BlueJ uh, for mine, so feel free to use it. For me. Um, I find it particularly useful because it helps to, it gives you a lot of pointers actually how to use it and it makes coding actually a bit easier. Feel free to use Eclipse or how to download Eclipse videos which does the exact same thing or you can even just use you know your regular text editor like Sublime Text or um, whatever WordPad, uh, Notepad++ or anything you really want to use but as long as you save it in a specific, specific kind of way it will do the exact same thing. Uh, I'll be covering all the fundamentals as well as learning how to um, program to the terminal. So when we make our program using BlueJ or using your text editor, then when we want to print it out on the terminal, there's a it's not as straightforward as it was when it came to doing it with Python. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that as well. For this tutorial, I'm mainly just going to be showing you how to download uh, Blue Jay, and then in my next video we're going to start programming. Okay, so just go onto Google and type in download Blue Jay. So that's bluejay.org. As I'm a Mac user, I'm going to do it um, on here. If you're a Windows user, do it on here. If I, if you're a Windows user, get the one that includes the Oracle JDK because. Uh, if you're using Eclipse, you've got to download the JRE as well as the JDK uh, separately, and you've got to make sure they're exactly identical, otherwise you will get some errors. Uh, if you're using any of the other operating systems, then download the one that's appropriate for um, your operating system. There's also a book for BlueJ, uh, which I have got. Uh, it's a free PDF, and if you'd like, if I mean, I can put it online as well. Um, it's about three, four hundred page book, which is also again very, very useful to have, which does go through uh, many of the examples that. Well, I should know. I'm not going to be doing any of the examples from the book, but using those examples I, that I've already done, I can help you to understand the examples that I'm doing. Okay, so this is just what it kind of looks like, and I'm going to go ahead and download it now. So it's whatever 162 meg file. So I will just pause it until it's downloaded. Okay, great. So open show in Finder. Okay, so I can just go ahead and open this. Or unzip this. Drag this out onto my desktop. Now, once you've got this, for me, is BlueJ 3.1.5. There are newer versions always coming out as it develops. And this uses Java 8, which is currently the most uh, up-to-date version of Java. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this into. Yep. What BlueJ also does come with is examples, which... Uh, which we won't be looking at. However, it does make life easier. So, if I show you like the Hello Java, well, um, Hello World, or Hello um, Program, uh, I will be explaining how to do it and uh, where to go from there, and how we can progress from there. Okay. So, if you go ahead and open this, you've now successfully installed BlueJ. I guess it does take a couple of seconds to open up for the first time. So I'll just pause it again until that's done. Okay, so there you go. This is BlueJ. So this is what I'm going to be using when I am programming, and this is what I'll do to you for all my. This is what I'll be using for all my explanations and everything. Okay, so we'll be creating new projects, and you can name this Project One. 
and there you go, that's your new project. And then from here, we can start building up uh, our programs. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. This is Carl from carlsapt.com.